You got into Cornell, and you want to change the world. Now you need to know how to do it. Great. According to a study by the Princeton Review, over 62% of high school seniors care about sustainability at the universities they apply to. So we know the majority of you care about the future of our planet and what Cornell is doing to protect it. But what does it really mean to live green here at Big Red? Here's the deal. You probably know what composting and recycling mean, and we do a lot of it here on campus. We compost big time in the dining halls, and the hundreds of blue bins around campus can take all your recyclables in one place. Yep, plastic cans and paper in one bin. But you already got into the Ivy League, so we're pretty sure you can figure it out. If not, there's plenty of signs to show you. They're not that confusing. When it's not too cold out, we recommend you check out Big Red Bikes, which are actually normal sized. And they're more frequently used than many books in the libraries, which, by the way, is where you pick the bikes up. When winter finally arrives, there's always TCAT, the local bus service that will take you wherever you wanna go, whether that's downtown, Target, or the vet school, or anywhere in between. And it's free after six and on the weekends, right when you need it most. Right, Bill and Ted? Excellent! Did someone say weekend? If you still have enough energy to go out after all those late night study sessions, save another kind of energy by unplugging your electronics and flipping the switch before you meet up with your friends. Conserving just a little bit of energy can really add up. Besides, it's good training for when you move off campus and have to pay your own energy bills. Consider taking shorter showers or sharing them with your friends. Just kidding. The Cornell store sells over 9,000 types of reusable water bottles, which you can carry around with you and fill up at one of the many bottle filling stations around campus. But enough with the easy stuff. Let's get down to business. Sustainability is more than just a fluorescent light bulb, more than solar panels and wind turbines. There are over 1,200 student organizations on campus. Every single one of them could use a passionate freshman who cares about sustainability. Over 40 of these groups deal specifically with sustainability. From Agua Clara, who builds small-scale water treatment facilities in Central America, to Cornell University Compost Club, there's something for everybody. Feel like getting your hands dirty? Check out Dillman Hill Organic Farm. Interested in business? The Sustainable Enterprise Association might be the place for you. More interested in the social side of things? Check out Cornell Organization for Labor Action or Cornell Students Against Sweatshops. Interested in shaping Cornell's sustainability policies? Join EcoReps or Kyoto Now and make Cornell a greener place every day. Have an idea of your own? Join Cornell University Sustainable Design, the most interdisciplinary group of sustainability-minded students on campus. Or, if you don't know where to start, check out ECO, the Cornell Environmental Collaborative. Student groups not your thing? The Atkinson Center for a Sustainable Future provides endless research opportunities. Or, apply that research in a real-world setting with the Center for Engaged Learning and Research. Think big and live green. Okay, so to recap, congratulations, you're smart enough to compost and recycle. You take the bus and ride a bike, the cold never bothered you anyway, or why did you come to central New York? Less is more, take shorter showers, unplug and hit the switch, but never combine them. No matter how weird you were in high school, there's a club where you'll feel at home, and there's plenty of room to start your own. There are three gorges, two lakes, and a million trees on Cornell's campus. Treat them with respect and always say thank you. We've come a long way. Carbon emissions are down 30%. A quarter of all meals on campus are locally and sustainably sourced. Annual water consumption has dropped by 15 million gallons since 2005. Shared showering is on the rise. 20% of all faculty are involved in sustainability research. Cornell's very first solar farm came online in 2014. We've set a goal of zero campus carbon emissions, but we need you to get us there. You're about to arrive at Big Red with literally more opportunities than you will know what to do with. We know that a three minute video won't change your life unless you're really persuadable, but we made one anyway with the hope that you'll think big and live green on our beautiful campus. Congratulations and welcome to Cornell University. Make sure to visit us at sustainability.cornell.edu and check out our Student Green Guide at studentgreenguide.cornell.edu.